one. Bing one's a foster guinea pig at Humane Rescue Alliance. I've been a foster for small animals for Humane Rescue Alliance for almost three years, and I also work as the case manager for other people who foster small animals. Guinea pigs are my favorite animals in the shelter for a whole bunch of reasons. First, they're really social, so social that they really need to live in pairs or groups, and um, we're happy to help you find but pairs that are already bonded or help you figure out how to introduce a new pig to your home, the one that you already have at home. Uh, guinea pigs are vegan, just like rabbits, and so they eat a mix of pellets, processed pellets with vitamin C supplement, hay, which they need all day, and then fresh fruits and veggies like carrots, apples, lettuce, and kale, and blueberries and tomatoes. Plus, always they need fresh water. Some like to use a bottle, some prefer a bowl, some fun facts about guinea pigs. Uh, they are born after a two month gestation or pregnancy. They're born fully developed. Their hair is all, their fur is all in. They have their eyes open, they're ready to move around. And that also means that within about three weeks, they're ready to mate. So it's important when you're fostering or when you, if you end up with babies that you Get them to a vet, get them checked out, and find out which ones are the girls and which ones are the boys, even while they're still babies, so that we can make sure we keep them separated and we don't increase the guinea pig population. Another fun thing to know about guinea pigs is that their teeth are always growing, just like rabbits, and so they need wood in their cage to help, or other hard things to chew on to help keep those from getting too long. We also have to do regular nail trims to keep those nice and short. Other things to know about guinea pigs, this one here, thing one, has two different color ears. And that means she has different color earwax in each ear. This brown ear has dark earwax that you can clean out with a little bit of mineral oil. And this pale ear has pale earwax. Also, you can clean out the crusties with a little mineral oil. We like to send guinea pigs and rabbits into foster homes so that they have a little bit more space to enjoy uh, running around and bonding with uh, their fellow cage mates. The typical cage that you could get at a big commercial pet store is too small. Um, the typical ones we see are about eight square feet and that's the smallest you wanna go. If I keep four girl pigs at my house, which happens a lot, um, I like to keep them in something that's more like 20 to 25 square feet, which gives them lots of space. When they get excited, they'll be just like dogs and do zoomies. They also do a fun little trick called popcorning where they sort of twist their body and jump in the air. And you wanna make sure they have plenty of space for that. They also need a place to hide, uh, like a pigloo, or um, you know, you can make drapes um, of cloth in the corners for them to hide under. You can even train some of them for, to be litter trained. Like rabbits, they tend to you go to the bathroom while they're eating hay. So I put hay in a metal pan and they mostly learn to go to the bathroom there and it helps keep the bedding, whether you use fleece bedding, towels or paper or wood chips, uh, helps keep them clean longer. When they're in their cage, like I said, they poop and they pee, they poop a lot. Um, and so I like to go make sure I clean up the poop every day and then also um, wash their bedding and clean out their hay bins and everything at least once a week. It just helps keep them nice and clean and tidy and it also helps reduce some smells in your house. It's nice to have them in a home for as fosters because it helps them socialize. It helps them get held a lot. You can sit and watch TV while holding them like this, maybe with a towel just in case they, you know, decide to take a leak. But, you know, just they're really great by we adopt a lot of them out to families with kids around eight to 10 years old. I have an 11 year old who helps me out with my fosters and they're really easy to care for and snuggle with. And they'll give you lots of cute little sounds like squeaks and purrs and weeks. And then they'll communicate with each other with rumble strutting and shuddering and other no noises to tell everybody what they think and who they are. <laughs> You can reach out to um, us at adopt at humanerescualliance.org and we'll be happy to help you out through the process. Thanks a lot.